Today we're gonna show you how to make avocado milkshakes because I figure if it nourishes your body but tastes like a milkshake you'd get at the ice cream store, then the world definitely needs to know about it. These shakes came about when we needed something better for breakfast and the first things we noticed about them were that they tasted delicious and they definitely kept us full for longer, providing more energy through our food, which we really loved. And that all is because of the healthy fats found in the avocados. So healthy fats fuel your energy, they feed your brain, and not only that, but they actually help you to burn fat. So they're good for you in so many ways. They're quick and easy to whip up, which made them a lifesaver snack during soccer season for us too. So today we're gonna show you five of our favorite flavors, but the super fun thing about these shakes is that you can mix and match ingredients, changing them up the way your family would like them by either switching things or creating completely new flavors for your family to enjoy. To prep for the shakes, you need to make sure you have any ingredients you need frozen and ready. To prep the avocados, simply cut them in half, scoop them out, and place them in bags in the freezer. You can divide them up by portion size to make for easy grabbing, or you can freeze them on a cookie sheet before placing them in one big Ziploc, which helps prevent them from sticking together. You can also buy frozen avocados if you prefer. If you need bananas, simply peel them, place them in bags, and put them in the freezer. I love to buy the overripe clearance bananas for this as they are perfect for smoothie type drinks and it helps save a little money too. If trying the orange cream flavor, you'll need orange juice ice cubes, which you can make by filling an ice cube tray with orange juice. Once they are frozen, simply pop them out and put them in a freezer bag until needed. Once you're ready to make your milkshakes, simply pick a flavor and gather your ingredients. We're gonna start with the mocha flavor, which is one of my personal favorites. Making the shakes is so easy as you just need a good blender and your ingredients and you're ready to go. For the mocha shake, you need one frozen avocado, one to two teaspoons of instant espresso powder, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, three to five tablespoons of pure maple syrup, three ice cubes, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, and two to two and a half cups of milk. I'm using coconut milk here, but you can use any type of milk you like. I love coconut milk because it adds even more healthy fats and is so creamy, but we use raw cow milk sometimes too. You can adjust any of the ingredients to your taste, such as making the coffee flavor stronger or more subtle, or changing the sweetness by adjusting the amount of syrup. Simply put all of the ingredients in a blender and run it until it's completely smooth and creamy. You also may need to add a little more milk if it comes out too thick, as this can happen if you're using an extra big avocado. Pour it into a glass and enjoy. All of the other flavors mix up exactly the Ooh. same way. You literally just fit the dust. Cut. <laughs> but only if your blender works. But if life gives you a lumpy milkshake, sometimes you just need a new blender. Now that we have that fixed, back to the shakes. Up next is orange cream. It's one of my daughter's favorite flavors and one of mine too. My son says it tastes like something you would buy at the store that should be bad for you. And I have to admit, it takes me back to the old fashioned orange cream sodas I used to enjoy. For the orange cream shake, you need one frozen avocado, six orange juice ice cubes, one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, an eighth to a quarter cup of honey, and two cups of the milk of your choice. And just like with the mocha one, simply put everything in the blender and blend until creamy and smooth. Each of these recipes makes about two 16 ounce glasses, but this can vary a little bit based on the size of the avocados you use. You can always double it to make more though. One of the things I like about these two is that the fat in the avocados holds it together so that if you want to put some in the fridge for later, it holds really well, unlike typical smoothies which tend to separate. The berry vanilla is my other daughter's favorite and we all love the smooth, creamy flavor blended with the sweet and tangy berries. This one is also great with a frozen banana thrown in which can also allow you to reduce the sweetener. Peppermint vanilla is one that I love. I use dried peppermint leaf and love the light, fresh peppermint flavor that it gives, but you could also substitute peppermint extract or peppermint essential oil. The leaves do leave a few flecks, but if you grind them up well, then I don't usually notice them. These shakes are great for sneaking extra nutrients in too, such as a little bit of spinach. Banana chocolate nut is my son's favorite flavor. You can use whatever flavor of nut butter you like the best, as pretty much any nut goes with chocolate. I love too that the nut butter adds an extra boost of protein. 
So as you can see, there are so many flavor options that you can enjoy and different ways to add nutrients in to make these shakes even better for you. So I hope this gives you a good start on how to make these awesome milkshakes for your family, whether it's for a healthy breakfast or for a snack on the go. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.